Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to episode 102 of this season of our Pathfinder 2 campaign, The Celestial Dragon Hammer. Now, some of you may be wondering why I have a little intro here to start this episode when normally I don't. Because, welcome to the season finale. But Rordrick, we just got into what seems like the Forgotten King just died, Kroku's still dead. Yaren has fallen. Everything's going crazy. How could this be a season finale? Well, you set up a great cliffhanger, right? You set up as the end of the season. We'll be starting the next season, and we'll be going from there. You'll see why this is the end of the season pretty obviously soon enough. I just need to tell you a little bit beforehand that this is a slightly unusual episode because not many of the players could make it. Only uh, Hydra and myself are here with Pacton the DM for this session. So things are a little more intimate, I guess you could say, um, especially with Satari and Co being in love and Co just being about to leave to go join Mason now. So everything's really intense. And well, you'll find out soon enough what happens and why soon enough we'll be moving on to season two. What does that mean? Stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, everyone, keep staying awesome. See you after the video. With Satari and Co. saying their goodbyes. And I probably at some point it was a lovely evening. Yes, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, why wouldn't there be? But the sun is beginning to come up. So... Co, it is time for you to say your final goodbye and leave. All right, later. Walk out the front door. Wow. <laughs> so, that's it? No. <laughs> no, no. All right, yeah, he's going to give a hug. Bye. Cry a little. This is for the best, right? Yeah, hopefully. Don't know if it's for the best. Eh, who knows what kind of crazy stuff with Mason and everything. I'm still not even sure that helping him's always the best thing, but you know. I can't see through the snow clouds. I can't. I... They, they got thicker on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are pretty thick, but I can still see. As weird as he is, I... I do still owe him so much. I guess I can't... I can't talk about him too badly. <laughs> yeah, but I'm about to be him, so I can talk about him how I want, right? Um, I, I, I guess. I, I don't really know. I don't nah, it's, understand. It's all right. I'm sure I'll still have some... form, maybe. I mean, yeah, yeah be able to see you again somehow, right? And, you know, Mason's always pulling us into his workshop at some point. Y yeah, yeah, and y you'll sure. be there waiting, right? I hope. I don't know if I'll lose my physical form or anything. He hasn't really gone over that yet. It seems important for you to have agreed to this. <laughs> well... Either I do it or Satark does it, but. I hope he's alright. No, he's probably. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now, did did we ever get him to stop going to town? He was captured. Alan saw him. Oh, that's right. That's right. I remember now. He wanted to be captured and all that. Yes, yeah, so you could rescue him or something? <laughs> Oh, is that gonna? Am I gonna have to go in the dragon mode and bust him out? I don't think I can do that. <laughs> Probably. Oh, he doesn't even seem to like me. I try, Co. I've tried. Ah, uh, he'll, he'll get over it. He's just a two-year-old, one-year-old, five-month-old. <laughs> He's just an eggsy two-year-older. <laughs> that <laughs> is going through stuff. That is still so weird. <laughs> Yeah, it is pretty weird.
but I know you'll be able to get him out. And he's not dumb. He's not going to get hurt or anything while he's in, you know, captured. I, in fact, I'm sure he already has a way to get out. He is very much your son, Ko. I am not so sure he's not going to do anything dumb. <laughs> You know, you said, you know, self-control, you have problems with that? He probably does, too. With magic yeah. boiling in his veins. <laughs> People leave me to make choices. I usually make the worst choice. But you're at least far more confident than I may ever be. So there was a balance there. There's also a Ravner probably eating a whole town somewhere. Yes. I suppose. I just had to have some treasure. By the way, you like that belt? That that belt is what I got. Oh yeah, the wand too. Yeah, you're alive because of that. <laughs> well. Alive because of what? <laughs> the wand I found in there. The smoldering... Oh, oh! The wand that, sm that crumbled. There's like res. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm like... the. Sp Smoldering fireballs? What does that have to do with? <laughs> yes, that is why you're alive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh, well, yes, that would make sense. That's why you found it. Yeah, yeah. Probably should have tried to escape before it got out, but I, I have no <laughs> idea what you blind found. And carrying you, we, we were not in a good spot. Well. <laughs> I, oh, my goodness, you had, like, nothing to peel or patch up after that, did you? No, no, I was walking around the desert almost dead. Oh, my goodness. Until Tim and Tom found us. Actually, I think it was just Tom, but... Oh. Oh, they made it out, did they? Yeah. Yeah, they found us and brought us back to the town. Yeah, that's <sighs> right, we left I... as soon as you got up, huh? Uh, Mason's portal pretty much showed up right away, yes. So, then what else made it out? Um, Stanya made it out. She hates me. I think it's best for both of us if I don't need her again. Yeah. We'll run into her again, I'm sure. If Akri has anything to say about it, I'm sure. I'm surprised she fell asleep. I've been with you all night. <laughs> eh, she probably... Upstairs crying or something. Still surprised she chose you over Kuroki. I am amazed. I I mean, I'm obviously grateful, but, but why? <laughs> hmm. May have to ask her about that. I... I will. Is gonna check his watch. Man, that Mason dude's taking forever. That's, that's such a bad thing. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to. I've been waiting for you to leave. You said you were oh. gonna go up. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I should probably go see Mason. All right. Just. I. There, there is a swirling portal right there. Oh. Okay. okay. All right, he's gonna hold up his necklace and then, you know, we're gonna trade necklaces. <laughs> no, we already did. Oh, we already did that. Okay. Yeah, that was during the night. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll hold on to this, and yeah, you keep keep good care of my stuff and and set. I'll do what I can. I don't think he wants me to, but I'll try for you. Keep a distant eye if he doesn't. <laughs> I, I don't know if scrying is the thing I can do, but I'll try. You don't need to be, like, right next to him to watch him. Oh, but do go save him, though. I mean, yeah. That <laughs> that should probably be done. <laughs> There's an entire army of locks between me and him. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he has a plan. 
All right. I'll give you one more hug. Then, uh, it's oh, and, time to... and she holds you for a long time that you probably have to squirm out. Ah, <laughs> uh, he'll wait. Okay. <laughs> it's a good 30 seconds or so, probably. Of... Okay. That's a long time to you? For just a hug? Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, that's got like two, three minutes at most. No, oh, okay. That's that's when you get to long time territory. No, I mean, right. unless you don't know the person, then yeah, thirty seconds is like <laughs> okay. terribly long. Well, don't All worry, right. she can't follow you. The game's pause for me is always when I first log in. <laughs> <laughs> well, then say something. <laughs> we didn't yeah, need to no, move yet. <laughs> I'll be somewhere. Yeah, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Mason. You see Mason's eyes are glowing blue. He has these blue, like, lightning marks going up and down his arms and his neck, and occasionally lightning will crackle, like, between his fingers, and he smiles. He's raging Ko. now. Ko, Satori, it's good to see you. I... Yes. Always good to see you. It's bittersweet as it is, yes. Yeah. His eyes take on a darker blue shade, and you hear in Seth's voice, Hello, Father. Hey, Seth. Uh, 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 I wait, guess you dressed for me. Yes, uh, I tried to come get you as soon as I could, Co. There's no reason for you to have to say your goodbyes anymore. I don't need to absorb you. Well, uh, uh, oh. All right. And he's gone. Oh, okay. Oh. That was cool, though. You get to actually talk through him. Okay, cool. However, if we could step inside out of the cold, I would very much like to speak to both of you. All right. Oh, um, sh- sure. Sorry, I'm going to need my stuff back. Uh, uh, of course, of course. Don't play in the fire, please. Uh, <laughs> we don't need to set Ikri's house on fire while she's mourning. <laughs> Toe's gonna grab his ring of sustenance, put it back on, and cry. And he's on fire now. Um, you know, I don't think that hurts him. Probably not. <laughs> it would kill me very quickly, though. Huh, if it's all right, I will sit here. Sure. I don't know. It's Igri's place. Yes, you know what? about Just that. Treat it like the guild. About that, I have considered you to be great friends for a long time. I've done what I can to help you. Have done what I could to help you help your world. It is difficult for me to understand the flow of linear time and singular dimensions, as I am a multi-dimensional being. But I have been able to experience things through the friendship with you that I never thought possible for someone like me. One of the things I have been able to experience is regret. Satari staying with me for as long as she has, touching on Ko's soul, now bonding with Sat- uh, Satark's soul, just being friends to all of you. I know what it means to... I, I understand what it's like to wish you could have done things differently. Oh, that happens every day, Mason. Trust me. Well, what if it wasn't just a wish? What? What if you had a way to go back and do things differently? What if you had a way to right all of your wrongs? Some before they became a major problem, some before they even happened. What if you had a way? Satori, what if you had a way to clear your conscience entirely of what you consider to be your biggest mistake? Loving this man? I mean, what? <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. He snaps his fingers. <laughs> no, <what>? Yay! <laughs> I get to play Hook. <laughs> oh, okay. 
<laughs> no, I, I know what you mean. That... I... I don't... I don't even know. That's... I never thought possible. What... Well, if I could offer you this, would it be something you would be interested in? Uh, I mean, it, it sounds wonderful, but... How would we know we wouldn't make other things worse, or... Wouldn't it change so much? I don't... Yes, a lot of things would change, but it would... Be on you, with the knowledge you have now, with the experience you have now. To maybe set forth a new domino effect, to make the world a better place. As I speak to you right now... A battalion of no less than 3,000 locks and infantry are marching across the land and heading this way. They are not directly coming here, they are actually marching towards Harain. But they will come across this place, inevitably destroying it and any who lie within. Of oh. course, you are, none of you are weak by any means, and you could flee and escape and hide. But it would be bouncing from hole to hole throughout Jaren trying to hide, possibly even leaving Jaren. What I offer is what I offer is actual absolution, the ability to right all of your wrongs, to fix all of your mistakes, to set forth a light in the world as you see fit. That sounds amazing. How exactly would this work? I'm just gonna be thrown back in time? Or... Essentially, yes. Sounds like that could have some issues. I mean, I've already angered one deity. Is there another that's going to anger? <laughs> Although, if there's one thing I can skip doing, it'd probably be going to settle in Rahul. Nothing good came of that. What you decide to do with your new options is up to you. As one progresses through life, every time you open a door, three other doors close, paths that you cannot take. You were often left wondering, what if? What if I had done this instead of that? What if I had never done this? These are the things that plague you and keep you up at night. But what if you could go see what is beyond those doors? What if you could actively choose a different path and see where it leads you? <laughs> Sounds like asking for trouble in some way. It, it sounds wonderful. <laughs> Nothing is without its risk, but you know where this path leads. Would it not be possible that you could do better given a second chance? Most people spend their whole life just hoping for a second chance. I am here to offer you one. Well, if I'd be going with Satari, you already have Satark. I don't think there's nothing left in this world here for me. <laughs> I mean, there's all of you. That's about all I've had. I have already spoken in depth with Ikri about this, and she has agreed. Although, she does wish for it to be a unanimous decision, as you are more than just her traveling companions, you are her family. Of course. I, I, I think of us that way. Um. Well... I Okay, maybe sometimes more than it'd be a little weird. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I also have preferences. But, you know. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I guess I'm fine with it. I, I don't any, see what we could mess up anymore. Any <laughs> Everything idea where we're going to end up landing? I will say that... As I've already stated, everything comes with a risk. Most things do have a catch, sadly. I can do this for you, but it will be the last thing I am ever able to do for you. Uh, oh. Hmm. Wait, now, did you... do you mean, like, the last thing you'll be able to do... Magically for us, or you're gonna just not be able to see us ever again? I will never be able to see you again, as I will take you and I will deposit you on another timeline within the multiverse. One that I will no longer have access to after completing this. 
one that I refuse to have access to, as much as I will miss all of you. You see what has happened with my already attempting to interfere and help you. Whether for better or worse, I like to think better, but we will see what you can do on your with nothing but yourselves to look out for. <laughs> I mean, well, we'll see just how angry Ferasma is. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what this all means just yet. <laughs> she has nothing to do with you being placed in another multiverse or dimension. In fact, she would not even take notice of it. I don't understand why you bring her up. Well, it was you bringing me back in the first place that angered her, and, well, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how bad it is. I don't know yet. I'm sure she'll make it known. <laughs> Again, I do not understand why you keep bringing this up, Satari. You lack knowledge in the ways of the deity, and this is not a subject to make light of. Oh, well. Alright. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. I, I, you're right, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what say you on this endeavor? Oh, I mean, kind of sucks. I won't ever get to talk to Set again. But you, you will not. I am sorry. Kind of sounds like it's something we're going to have to do because we're probably going to just die. And I don't know. Hellscape. You? I don't see why you would die, at least not in the immediate attack. No, not but it would be a constant uphill battle for you, the way this world currently is. Not to say you have not made allies, but Mox take a moment. A take take a moment and think about all of the good things that are in this world. It is not easy to do. Uh, Satari, meh. you yourself cried yourself to sleep many nights when you stayed with me, homesick, reminiscing of the Whispering Woods and remembering how they were burned down. I... yes, yes, I have. I don't... I'm still not sure what did that exactly. Supposedly oh. a dragon. Ko, you mingled with people, people far below your power and your station, but gave them hope to what they could achieve, and achieve is what they did. As the continent across the tranquil sea has been besieged by demons. Hmm. That, that, y'all never went to Harain and went across the ocean and talked or checked that place out? But that place has a major demon infestation problem because of Ko's old cult. But they were incompetent. Yeah, but they had 50 they years to be more incompetent. Basically figure out how to get the rituals to work, but not how to control anything. So they just yeah. left open gateways to the abyss. Cool. Cool. Oh. Hammer. Larry. Probably his grandson. <laughs> Yeah, Larry, know. Larry the Fourth is their current leader. God damn it, Larry! <laughs> and then he'd be the downfall of us all. I mean, yeah, we should probably go before that becomes a big problem. Outside of all of you, there's only so much I have left here. As it stands currently, the smoke from the Whispering Woods drowns the sky out of the northern part of Phlox. They have not seen the sun in a long time. This is really that massive and that bad. <laughs> the spine crumbles as ancient evils awaken in it, helped, in, helped to be awakened by your friend Karth. An ancient creature, a prototype beast of Lamashtu, buried for several millennia, awakens and stirs, tearing a mountain apart in its process. Loxus invaded into Dieren, killing untold thousands. Rayholt currently, most of it is on fire, the rest of it is being fortified for a military station. Across, okay. the, con across the continent, you have the wildlands, which have been 
normally an untouched, beautiful jungle landscape is being ravaged by demons. Jukon's civil war has finally broken, and under the leadership of Nora, it is doing its best to fight against a, a war that is brewing with a neighboring country. Jukon itself is doing better than it has in a long time, but for how long? Then you go down to the Forgotten Dunes. The raiders, the small raider camps in different cities there, are actually being gathered under a banner, wanting to express north into Yeren and into Lox and expand their territories, using the power of great sandworms and beast of the desert. I mean, it, you, you are very right. It sounds terrible. Can we just... Leave right, everyone? What about the good things? <laughs> You're right, there's no good things. He moves his hands around for a moment, coalescing this light bluish energy, and then he kind of te- pulls his hands apart, starts forming the energy into what almost looks like a mirror, and as it more solidifies, it is a mirror. You can see yourself in it. <laughs> But it begins to shimmer, and you begin to see different flashing images of different parts of the world. Each image lasts about three seconds. Uh, at one point, oh, we'll say the first image is you do see the whispering woods still burning in flames as it pans over, and you see the hollowed out, burnt, charred husk of the library that basically grew up in Satori. Mm-hmm. You, know, you see a small fishing village that you used to like to frequent. Sometimes you just wanted to get away from the cult and maybe do a little bit of gambling, hang out with some people, see the sights, the women that came in on the boats, whatever. <laughs> you see people flayed hanging upside down from hooks around the town as demons are feasting on their flesh. <laughs> Another image is you see this maelstrom just spinning in the center of the tranquil sea and getting larger and larger you quickly see a tentacle kind of flash out of it for a moment the tranquil sea had always been known as like the safest ocean that you could imagine and a kraken is awakening there darn it laren it actually does tie into that Uh, another image that you see is Lox's military doing summary executions of just civilians, old people, children, women, soldiers, it does not matter. As the images continue to go, they start to speed up. You start getting just one second clips of horrors and atrocities around the world. Even some landscapes, uh, building styles, architectures that you just don't recognize at all. Uh, at one point, uh, Co, you hear an audible gasp from Satari. I'm sorry to put words in your mouth, but I feel confident this would be your reaction. I bet you I know you what hear, you're going for, yep. You hear, an, you hear an audible gasp from Satari, and if she's holding your hand, she probably squeezes it so hard it hurts, as there is a one-second clip of Zoe still alive, chained to a wall somewhere in a cave. Okay, oh, that cool. is not what I thought. Okay. <laughs> I thought it had to do with her family. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be your brother's. Yeah. <laughs> huh. What? My your, your brothers are crafty bards. They got the hell out of town. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can fully believe it. <laughs> That's just but yeah, what it, I assumed. You find, but you just see that apparently Zoe is and has been this entire time still alive. Just no one ever dug into the werewolf storyline anymore. I was ready to go back to I'm, it. I'm trying to... <laughs> Send their messenger. <laughs> Nothing ever happened. Well, obviously something was blocking it. Yeah, obviously. And plus, people said that she died. So great that <laughs> that's not helping you know her what? leave. <laughs> one werewolf that was helping me probably would have told me some stuff. <laughs> but then you know, he would have actually. <laughs> Uh, Mason tells you, I don't show, I, I show all you this, I show you all of this to both show what is, has been done and is still left undone here, but to show you what could be completely changed and never happen, given a second chance, if you want it. Hmm. I mean, so you're saying we can go to 
any one point? Multiple points? What? How is this? I don't quite I understand. We'd want to go before. I uh, thought the way that this works is there are certain fixed points on timelines. I can only send you between one and another. I have it set where I can send you. I just need you to say yes. I want you to fully understand what is happening before sending you as well. World's falling apart. Now, what exactly is going to change? And we've done a lot of things to try to do better in this world. I mean, we've killed the Forgotten King. What else could we have done to stop all of this? Not have half the kingdom decimated by a lich? Would have helped. Yeah, there's probably a tiny fraction of it, yeah. But I feel like the rest of this is a lot that oh, I do don't you... think even we had control of. You don't have to fix everything in the world, but you know what choices and decisions and regrets you have. Would you like a second chance to at least fix those? And perhaps the way they ripple out may change other things. Uh, not being tied down to the shield would be nice. But I feel like Ikri's <laughs> gonna immediately <laughs> I, I kinda I kinda shield. like that Coast like sure, but whatever we do, I'm not joining the shield this time. <laughs> yeah. I didn't join the shield before, I'm not joining it again. So if we go back, will we have all of our experiences, all of our memories all still? Of your memories, all of your experience, all of your knowledge. You will be as you are Over sitting things. there today. Hmm? Yes, if I can send you and your souls back, what are some minor trinkets and objects? Okay, so what happens when we have some unique objects on us that we may come across again? No, that's just simple. The same thing that will happen to yourselves who currently live in this timeline. You will cease to exist and be replaced by what I send back. Huh. Okay, so we don't have to go murder ourselves, so we don't have that issue. Uh, real quick, metagaming, I strongly considered that, but then I was just <laughs> like, no, because most of the party would refuse, but Ko would just do it. Either that or Ko would NPC himself as him and other Ko ran off in love together. That could happen too. But no, I just imagine like we're sitting inside that lich's tomb, and then like a portal opens, we all step out, I fireball the party. <laughs> like, well, all right, we're restarting. Well, yeah, she's more worried. Like, she goes back, suddenly she's, you know, full barbarian again or something. And <laughs> it'd be weird. Be your, you would be your current characters, mm. classes, whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's just why she asked. <laughs> the only thing that will not be able to hop across different timelines and into other dimensions is your ring of sustenance, Ko. I am sorry. Son of a hammer. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going, I refuse. I will stay <laughs> here and die. <laughs> I'll stay here and never have to eat again. Alright, well, um, I'm gonna reach into my bag, pull out a single hair. This guy doesn't deserve to go back in time. <laughs> Just blow it away. Uh, you reach in and think to yourself, I want to pull the hair out, but you don't. There's no, and you, you know why, because you know how a bag of holding works. There is no single hair in your bag of holding. Sorry, did you already get rid of the hair? At one point, you what? dumped your entire contents out on a windy mountaintop. That's that's right. <laughs> and you did not ever have that hair in anything. It's just a loose hair in a bagel. Yep. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> no. You know what? I think I lost it a long time ago. In fact, when I was repacking my bag, I don't think I ever found it. I didn't look for it. I, oh, well. I, I do question why you have so many hand drawings in your repair kit, though. That's very strange. Oh, that was all hand work. In fact, oh. most of the tools are missing. Ah. I should probably replace that. Well, I mean, not replace it, but I mean, get more tools. Hmm. Um, anyway, we're, we're getting off, to <laughs> off topic here. 
I mean, I, I feel terrible leaving everything here, but I don't, having the opportunity, I don't see how we could turn it down. Well, I mean, you know, you can not release the Lich this time and then never have to deal with that problem. Or, you could release the Lich and kill him. Um. <laughs> Give me my phylactery back or I will kill you. Go no! Try, <laughs> hammer. <laughs> it's like, I know Disintegrate Hammer. Go to the Forgotten King. That's why I not here. <laughs> yeah. Is urn somewhere? Oh no, Kara's urn. Where's Kara's urn at? It's in Satari's <laughs> backpack okay. right now. <laughs> I don't know right. if she took that. I don't know what else you took, but oh no, sorry. You will replace unique yourselves. Any unique items that you have, certain things like that, will not go back in time with you as they are oh. in system that world. So when you go back in time, Kara's urn will disappear and be whatever it was at whatever time you go back in time. Possibly not at all. Car might be there. <laughs> Sick. Car at that point would have been alive. <laughs> Y'all also have no control over when you're getting sent back to. Yeah. Well, presumably before the lich, which would be just before you met Ko, so it's going to be a little weird. <laughs> oh, wouldn't you still know each other? No, I know. It's just going to be a little weird. Like I don't remember us doing this at all. So, so what's what's going to happen? is Mason's gonna hammer up somehow and send you back in time to Co bleeding to death in that arena fight. <laughs> It'd be even funnier that you send us back in time and then Co's his own grandfather. Yep. That could happen. You might even go back further. You might go farther than your timelines allow for. You might meet your parents as a kid. Hey guys, there's dinosaurs over there. There are already dinosaurs. In now I know. Actually, I can turn into ones. So. <laughs> you haven't fought them before. Yep. What was that a Dinonychus? I think? The giant chicken lizards. I don't remember. Yeah, chicken lizards. <laughs> I don't think Satari ever wrote down their real name. <laughs> so, do both of you agree to this? To this? I. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Mason dies. Aww. That is why he will never be able to see or talk to you again, as this will kill him and Satori. Why do y'all keep doing this? <laughs> Stop sacrificing nah. yourselves. <laughs> well, and I just saved my son, and then... No, he, uh, he does. He pulls you into his plane, which just looks like a large kind of rocky outcropping. You don't actually see the magic shop or anything like that. At the end of this rocky outcropping, you see these two large gateways that are facing each other. You walk up to it, and he tells you the one on the left, this is your last chance to say no. The one on the left is yes, and you will step through. And I will place you in another timeline in an alternate dimension. The one on the right is you will go back to exactly where you just were without any knowledge of us having this conversation. Alright, but hold on. I have one question. Yes. Alright, you kind of glossed over it, but why did Karth release a prototype monster of Lamashti? I do not know. I only know what has happened, not why it happened. Huh. I mean, he came and back with that. to talk to the Church of Lamashti to figure out what was going on with it. The, ch uh, the church that is in Rayhalt are generally good people. They help different adventurers and people like that identify monsters and how and the weakness in different volatile and hostile monsters. They also they also aid in the care and relocation of certain types of monsters and creatures. I believe you had a spider once. It would have been a perfect place to take her. They would have been able to find the perfect home for her. I mean that a spider. The more I realize she's from just it. another world, I don't know if she was possessed or not. I think so. <laughs> I, you said you spoke to it, and it had that same voice of the thing that possessed you, didn't it? Yes. 
Oh, yes. Well. That, that was the soul of a man who once lived in that wizard tower long, long, long ago. Uh, before Alan, they were very power hungry, and apparently sometimes will try to manifest itself and take over beings and creatures, things like that. Uh, Satori, I believe that he was trying to take over you, but his quest and thirst and hunger for power just got skewed and translated into a different way with you. Huh. So I made him regret his decision. <laughs> oh, not at all. That was maybe like 1% of a sliver of his remaining essence. Oh. He made no conscious decision. He just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to feel was... somewhat good about it. <laughs> maybe we should oh, collapse that tower. Feel good about it, Zatari. No. You tried, to, you tried to feast on good aligned mortal beings to your heart's content, <laughs> turning yourself evil in the process and making your own loved ones afraid of you. It wasn't to my heart's content, it was one time. I wasn't that afraid. Well, twice, actually. Um, yeah. Kark was. <laughs> Kark was scared he, he wouldn't even sit next to Satori. <laughs> Alright, well. Um, guess let's go through this portal. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Joe's gonna go hug Mason. And Satark. Oh yeah, do a robot. <laughs> this is your last chance to make love to Mason. Well, it's a little <laughs> weird now that he's one with my son. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, well, no, see, he's never made love with Ko, but Mason has made love with Satark. Indirectly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's. I forgot about that. Oh? <laughs> uh, I forgot that Mason could see and feel everything. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He could feel everything, including, like, emotion and all of that. It was right. very confusing, because at one point, Ko started getting into it. He was like, I'm confused. I thought this was a beautiful thing. Why is Ko angry at her? Now he is beating her. I don't understand that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, your strength of 10, yeah, you're gonna really beat her up. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, careful. Ko has careful. actually done damage punching Igri in the face. <laughs> True. I got I got this whole that does not, four on a roll. That does not hit my flat footed, oh nor if God. I have my armor off. <laughs> hold on. You have, hold on. You have, you have critically hit, you have critically hit and killed Mason. Hammer. Why does Mason have an AC of 10? <laughs> He doesn't. His AC is not. Oh. You, you know what my biggest regret now is? What? Not setting this place on fire before we left. <laughs> Why? No. Why would you set it on fire? Because I never liked this place. This house? He Why? forced us here. This was just shield base number two. <laughs> it's also so far from town, I can't go get spells without spending like three, four hours walking. Oh, Satari that loved is... this place so much more than the guild hall. <laughs> no, that yeah. is seriously why Ko hates it. He's not, like, yeah. two blocks from the mage's guild anymore. Yep. Yeah. He wanted to go get spells one day, and then we all got stuck here, and he was like, fine. And he had a lovely <laughs> evening. <laughs> he could have had, had a lovely evening with new spells. Yep. Ko has two goals in life. One, learn every spell in the world. Two, love yep. Satori. And they are in that order. <laughs> One of those is able to be finished, though. So, once he's done. Yep, once Satori has been finished properly, he will get back to the Mage's Guild. <laughs> She's already died three times, so, you know. <laughs> All right. Uh, long story short, you all get plucked from this timeline and replaced into a new one in an alternate dimension. So there you have it. Welcome to the end of the season. That's it. We go back in time. Every single thing now that you have seen in these 102 episodes has in one episode been undone. None of it has happened. Um, so going back in time, we will be going to before these videos ever even started. Um... 
you don't know exactly where we're going, you'll have to find out in Season 2 where exactly we end up and how that all shapes out. But we're given a second chance. A chance to make this world a better place. Where many times, even in our own lives, we fail. But the more important part is getting back up again. Being able to move past your mistakes. To become stronger. To become better. And hopefully, for the better. For yourself, and for the world. We may be a group of adventurers. Some of us pretend that we can try to be heroes, and sometimes we succeed. Many times we fail. But remember, keep staying awesome, keep getting back up, and keep trying. And someday, somehow, you just might succeed. Thank you everyone who stuck through all 102 episodes. Um, because we're going back in time, feel free to, you know, let anyone who wants to jump in at a reasonable point and not jump in at episode 100 odd of the se season, you'll be able to start with a new season and they really won't miss that much. It's really strange that way how this has worked out, but feel free to introduce new people. And the more interest that grows in these videos, the more I will make sure to keep making them. Because after 102, I want to keep making them. But also, I had to be realistic and hope that, you know, these will grow someday. Grow into something that people will enjoy. For many more <laughs> years to come, hopefully. But thank you everyone who stuck it through this far. You have been wonderful to me to sit through the four days worth of content to get to this point. And uh, everyone, keep staying awesome. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next adventure. Goodbye.